The fault. The fault lies uh, mostly with Rodney and Rick Bush. They were the instigators. They, they were the ones that were the most stupid. They were. They did. They practiced epic stupidity. Rodney had a choice, and he made the wrong one. He, he thought. Well, for one thing, he thought the Republicans were right. Of course, he didn't understand the Republicans were actually being had actually been created and were being run by Nixon, JFK. He was behind the scenes. For years, he tried to make me think that I was the one behind the scenes, but it was actually Dixon. It was JFK. He was the one controlling everyone, playing the game, starting the lies. Like I said, they, they used to play around. They would, set, they would start saying lies in Germany, and then they would go back to America or the United States and actually listen to their lies, see if their lies made it back to, to, to them in America. Anyway, they, they, they did this whole, like, tell a, tell a different person a different story about your past thing. They, they did a lot of screwing around. They created, like, like, like I said, it wouldn't have been so bad if Rodney had just basically been honest and truthful, but he thought that the Republicans could help or the Republicans were right or something. I was there. You know, you weren't there. So anyway, <clears throat> and and basically, basically, it was just like, like, like Nixon just needed a couple years, you know, to basically get set inside the government or to basically, you know, like I said, and then and then they started attacking the Middle East and all over the world, and started like trying to get into the uh, to, to to the virus lock lockups to the C CDA, or I mean, um, what's it called you know the, the the viruses, so they could get to the Black Plague, and then once they had that, they started releasing it, or something like that. So anyway, basically, and they set up and they started uh, the the United States government basically to try and get time travel or whatever. Anyway, they they started like 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 from the point in time of like 1980 or so, they started uh, they started trying to do a real real world reality thing that would only that only led to a paradox, basically. Anyway, I can't really tell you all that much because I don't really know. The rest is just personal choices, and the world making a lot of really bad personal choices. Like I said, I actually encountered a real paradox and was in a paradox, you might say. Anyway, most of the people will, will say, no, it's not true, blah, blah, and all this other stuff. But they don't, you know, you don't really understand. It gets pretty wacky. Anyway, I don't really care. And then there's a bunch of people around me that are basically also practicing epic stupidity. They don't even know or they didn't even get it. You know, like I said, you'd have to talk to Rick Bush and basically put him on a lie detector test. You know, my next door neighbor. He was a big part of it. And Rodney, because Rodney listened to Rick Bush and they were like buddies or friends or something like that at some point in time. And then the rest is Nixon and JFK and then basically a whole bunch of other people's choices. And then other things. And John McCain. So those are the instigators and the real people behind everything. And the rest of the, the, rest of the people are just, are, are just their victims. Near as I can figure anyway. But that's what happens when, when, when someone who, who doesn't belong in the White House gets in the White House and just doesn't care. They had everything they could ever want, and they basically just lived until they were about 80 or so, and then they didn't give a fuck. And since, and since it wasn't theirs, and they hadn't built it, and they didn't have anything to do with it, they decided to nuke and kill everyone. So that's all that really happened. <sighs> Like I said, uh, the, the whole world was believing that they had some control over the government or, you know, that they voted something or that the, that the police department or that the government military was, was basically protecting them. They were believing the TV shows or believing the other stuff. Unless you were actually there on the front lines or actually in the military, then you would find out what was really going on. Which is basically how they were basically going around doing bad things. And then, of course, there's Zachary and everything that he was doing with his money. Which he really didn't have money more than more than they had access to a couple bank accounts. And then you have a whole bunch of stupid children that think their hackers are cool. You know, doing a bunch of stupid stuff. Anyway, I don't really know, but that much about it. But basically, that's pretty much that sums it up. And like I say, I don't. It really, you know, they thought that that, that they were going to be able to get me killed by the, before I told everyone, or that it would, you know, something something. It's like it doesn't even matter. The Middle East basically already knew. A lot of people already knew. They already knew about the White Star submarines from the point in time of 1950 and 1960. 
It was posted in the newspaper. Everybody in, 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 in Germany did. I mean, everyone in China knew. Everyone in Germany knew. Everyone knew about, about JFK and, and uh, John McCain. So, uh, they all knew about the White Star submarines. It was, it was released to the news. Everyone found out about that. So, it's only the people in 1970, 1980, and me that kind of didn't know. Hey, whatever. You should have been locked up for a long time. And then, of course, you have a whole bunch of stupid hackers going swatting and then harassing people. And like I say, eventually they, they get taken out by somebody else. Existential existence boys basically encounter something that is a god and is that powerful. And it basically takes them and puts them someplace where they're never going to be able to get out from. I don't really know. I didn't have anything to do with it. They encountered some, someone else that didn't like to get fucked with. And he was far, far more nasty than I ever was. Like I said, I wasn't really a bad person. I didn't really torture or get pleasure out of it, nor did I really torture. I was mostly just finding out information from JFK. And that's pretty much all him and a couple other people. Every, everything else was basically other life forms doing what they do. Didn't have anything to do with it. So anyway. I don't really care. Anyway, but if you're wondering what's going on, and why, if you dig down, you'll probably hit a mine shaft. There's mine shafts everywhere. All around this place. They're about 3,000 feet down or 5,000 feet down or so. A lot of them. That's how most drugs, most most people... You know, you can go from all the way from, from Russia all the way down to basically almost Africa. Depending. Uh, the the United States uh, Pentagon had all, had all the mine shafts and all the mining information going back a long, long ways. They probably burned the records. I, I imagine JFK probably j just grabbed them and then burned the records or something like that. But they might still be there. You never know. Basically, the mining department, which is basically all my company maps of all my mines. Maps and mining and, and, and everything else was, was basically one of my things. So Anyway, record keeping. I don't know it anymore. I don't remember. It was all in the Pentagon. And that's what they wanted. I think maybe they thought it was in, in the Washington, D.C. building. And there was information, and, and basically Washington, D.C. was once at like a patent office. They could get the, the blueprints and plans on motors and electrical motors and stuff. And that's what they were trying to get out of there. It was like a library. And eventually we moved it to the Library of Congress or whatever. And then it became more like a courthouse. Anyway, they did a bunch of mock trials there that, that really didn't have anything, and they filmed it and, and made it look like they had done something or said things. But realistically, it was just a courthouse. And so it was not really the... the they were trying to make it like... It was Maybe once it was kind of the parliament, but mostly it was just a place where they where people would gather and they would talk about things. I just used it as a medium place or something or a courthouse. Anyway, everybody else in the world, they, they've all been believing the, these lies and everything else that basically JFK and John McCain and everyone else have been putting forward. And Rick Bush and Rodney Briley. And everybody else has just basically been victim to them. People believing that the American government or the U.S. government was, was, was okay and on their side. No, it never was. And basically what, what actually keeps America running is more the police departments and, and basically the everyday people. The government has been basically been 360 crazy, crazy town for, for, for about a good 50, 60 years now. Unless somebody, unless those FBI people eventually wormed their way back in. But pretty much the congressmen have basically just been living large on lies and, and basically, you know, access to the to the public banking system. Basically stealing just stealing or printing money out of the treasury since like nineteen forty or nineteen thirty. They basically just go to the treasury, pick up the hundred dollar bills and then leave. Bill Gates might have been doing that. Most people think that that, that that you have to go through this big long process to get money. It's like no, they just opened up the thing and just grabbed whatever they wanted and took it. Massive inflation. Outrageous inflation. Of course, it's all my money, though, so... <laughs> That's the funny thing. It's like, well, whatever dollars they're getting, they're getting your dollars. It's like, oh, well, at least my... Um, at least there's going to be a lot of my money around in the world. So it's really... It's, so it's actually all just American money and my money. They didn't think to change it or something like that. Or it would be too hard. So, because they'd have to redo everything. And I had so much momentum already. They are just basically just grabbing my money and spending it. It's like, oh, well. Making everybody else rich in the world. So anyway, but it kind of also made it so they couldn't kill me. 